Well, it's day number eight, two more days till I turn 50, and I am extremely excited about all the things that has taken place uh, in my life, even after hearing some news today that I did not want to hear. And I please, forgive, please forgive me for posting this late for those that aren't curious about what I post. But I just heard that one of the greatest men in my life, uh, from as far back as I can remember, just passed away today. Um, I called him Papa, I called him Father, my best friend, uh, Bernard Lewis, as y'all know, um, it was his dad, keep the Lewis family in prayer. I was even debating about even uh, doing this video, but I, um, I want to stay consistent and persistent. And um, what I've done, and I will say that Papa Lewis plays a very big part in that. I literally got a chance to watch this man take care of his family. Um, two boys, um, one, two, three, four girls, um, and others that they brought in from their family that they took her as daughters. Didn't have to take me in, didn't have to let me come over. As often as I did, I sat on my Aunt Margaret, my Vernon. I was always either there or he was at the Lewis's house. Both of them have passed on, my Aunt Margaret and my Vernon. And now Papa has passed. I want to keep Mom and Lewis in prayer. Um, but on the road to 50, I learned a lot of valuable lessons from him. And, um, one of the things about him, he was he was definitely a man's man. He was strong. He was uh, one that really loved his children. And then even would love others that Mama Lewis would bring in and, and would take as children. Uh, he is one of the ones that, that did get a chance to put two good weapons on me. Uh, don't forget the first one when I try to pop back off and tell them, well, you're not my real dad. You can't whip me, said. I let you come over here when you want. You call Mama Lewis, Mama. You call me your pop. You eat my food. You're going to take this whipping. When the other ones would try to whip me, I would either run, uh, hurry up and just get away from them. Um, tell them they couldn't do it, wasn't going to take it. And then they said, well, you can't come back over no more. But when he said that, I submitted to him. The second time he whipped me, me and Bernard stole some granny apples next door. Mama Lewis said, don't touch those apples next door. We did we did more than touch. I took a whole bag for, I think I ate about 20 of them. Bernard ate about 15, 20. The way that they know we was guilty because we couldn't get out that stool. <laughs> and when Papa came on, he started to whip us and then he figured that the stool did more whipping to us than he could ever. Uh, whoopers, but that was the last time. After that, I understood the love that he had for me, that what he said, what Mama Lewis said they meant. And I appreciate that. I called a lot of people dad because I didn't have one. Kind of gleamed to everyone who had a father. That's my father. Because I was just so desperate to have a father. I just wanted a father. Um, but Papa Lewis... He was that one. And, uh, you know, my, 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 my best friend might watch this. I was trying, trying, to be, trying to be strong for him. I talked to him. He good. He just got his kidney. I was waiting to celebrate both of them. Coming out of the hospital, my boy got a second kidney, producing urine. Remember, he told me how that felt the first time. He's home now. Last time he seen his father was before his father went to the hospital. To find out his father had some conditions, more than just one. My boy's some courage. So I'm trying to be strong for him and encouraged to this. I got four boys. They all told me what it felt like 
to be raised in a house where so many other people called their dad dad. Even grown men have called me the father figure. Each one of my boys told me how it made them feel that they had to share their father with the world, literally. But then they all said, Dad, we wouldn't take it back because at least we had you. We had what everyone else needed and we appreciate it and we love it. For um, Howard Lewis to consider me like a son, the Lewis's to consider me like family when they don't have to. Through all of my rights and my wrongs, they've always been there. That means a lot. So today, on my road to 50, I dedicate this to Howard Lewis. You're a man's man, you're a king, great father. I miss you. I love you. I think you know that. And uh, rest in peace. Some time on certain roads. You gotta deal with this. And um, you gotta still press on. Two more days, your boy will be 50. Still in celebration. I know that's what Papa Lewis will walk. I got you. I got baby bro. We're going to be okay. All right? Hey, everybody press on. Get through it. This is tough times, even on my road. But I will find joy and peace. Because that's how I was taught. That even in the midst of loss, keep your joy, keep your faith, keep your peace, and remain true to who you are. I can definitely say, I sat among Uncle Vernon, Howard Lewis taught me that. Love you, Papa. Your boy out.